Oh, let me show you this one. See this tiny one there? So I can see there's a small see, worm. It's, still... it's moving. A number of different species of parasites can be found in each and every fish in marine environments like Sydney Harbour. To give me a closer look, Sugarface brought along her dissection kit. See all these white spots there? Yeah. These are all larval stages of a tapeworm. We have this parasite here. Oh, what's that? Uh, that's, again, is larval stages of another tapeworm. And you see we have more in here. So we've been looking for about 20 seconds and we've already seen four oh, different yeah, species of absolutely. parasites. And imagine if you have time to go through every single organ one by one. You see that there? Wow. Yeah. That's... So there are plenty of them here, here, everywhere. Pilated actually is very interesting host for parasites. And that's mainly because of the items they eat, like crustaceans, like a smaller fish. That means that they have more opportunity to be host for more diverse group of parasites. What would happen if a human ate these? It's possible if human eat the fish uncooked. It might infect human, but usually we get rid of the intestine and, you know, these body parts. After 15 minutes of dissecting, I'm stunned at how many parasites we've come across. We've found nine different parasites already. Is yes. that pretty normal for a flathead? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. And it's actually an indication of a really healthy environment. If we would have opened this fish and we didn't find those parasites there, we would have a big question mark about the ecosystem, about the, you know, like there must have been something wrong with the water that these animals cannot survive. Yeah, there's not just the world we see, but no, there's that there whole so world much... in the shadows. Yes, absolutely. We've seen a lot of parasites in this fish and clearly they've evolved tools to stay in place. Yeah. But how do the hosts fight back? So the first line of their defense is their immune system. For example, they make a cyst around the parasites and that's just controlled the parasite that way. And then the parasites evolve further to survive or attack the fish again. And fish again evolves to develop a defense mechanism and it just goes on and on and on. So attack, defend, attack, defend. Yes. It's an arms race. Yeah. Oh. When I think of parasites, I think of tropical rainforest or maybe muddy farmland, but I certainly don't think of this. So why are we here? Parasites are everywhere. They are an important part of our ecosystem. And you can't imagine a healthy, functional ecosystem without parasites. And uh, that's why we are here, because marine systems are one of the richest and the best place to study parasites. Many parasites live inside other animals. So while they are hard to spot, if you've got the right equipment, their hosts are not. I'm so impressed with our drone. I think already <laughs> yeah. in just a few minutes of watching, I've seen some brim, I've seen a silver sweep, um, I've even seen some maddo down there. Yeah. So what's the likelihood that those fish are carrying parasites? Oh, plenty. I would say it's uh, 100%. Can parasites have their own parasites? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it is es estimated that actually in the ocean, especially, there are five levels of parasitism discovered so far. And it might be more, who knows? Parasites on parasites on of parasites, parasites on yeah. parasites on parasites. Absolutely, yeah, like a babushka dolls that you yeah. see there are like one inside another, yeah. Wow, that is a slightly disturbing thought to think about. Uh, but if you think about them as a necessity of the planet, of an healthy ecosystem, that's absolutely fine. You just have to change your view of parasites. Astonishingly, up to half the animal species on Earth are parasites. They can have far-reaching impacts on their hosts and over time on the broader ecosystems they inhabit. Parasites can impact the sexual behaviour and, you know, reproduction of the fish in our nature. Look at this one. You see the pattern on the body. There are parasites that also change the coloration of the fish. And with that, we know that some fish use their color for mating, for attracting their opposite sex. Mm. So there are a lot about parasites and their impacts, more than just thinking that, oh, parasites can, you know, like come to the digestive system and steal our food. They do more than that to our animals and to our ecosystem that we still need to learn.